A very interesting development news is coming from Toyota this morning regarding its plans for electric vehicles. We'll learn that Toyota explores manual transmission for modern electric vehicles in new patents. Toyota has lots of patents, friends, and now Toyota appears to be exploring the idea of using manual transmission systems for modern electric vehicles, at least based on several patents with the United States Patent and Trademark Office. Toyota's manual transmission patents hint at the company's next move in the electric vehicle maker market. So Toyota may be the first company to build electric vehicles with um, uh, with manual transmission. Each of Toyota's patent for manual transmission in electric vehicles are listed uh, in the description of this video. And also Maria Merano from Teslarati is the first one to cover. And I think I saw about nine patents in that regard. So patent, like one of the patents uh, first seen in busy forums for Toyota's EV with manual transmission refers to a controller configured to control the torque of the electric motor. Interesting right? It also mentions a shift reaction force generated that generates, uh, re, re, actually, it also mentions a shift reaction force generator that generates a shift reaction force when the driver operates the vehicle pseudo shifter, providing an experience similar to manual gas powered cars that use a stick shift and clutch pedal to switch gears. It seems Toyota's electric vehicles manual transmission design will also rely on similar tools to shift between gears, except the patents refer to them as the pseudo shifter or pseudo shifter, pseudo gear shift and pseudo clutch pedal. According to another Toyota pedal, Toyota's manual EV calculates motor torque using an uh, MT, a manual transmission vehicle model that si simulates manual uh, gas vehicles with internal combustion engines. It says uh, the patent reads, in the first operation model, an operation amount of a pseudo clutch pedal and the shift position of a pseudo gear shift are input to the MT vehicle model to reflect operation of the pseudo clutch pedal and operation of the pseudo gear shift in electric motor controls. The patent reads. So, electric vehicle functions more like cars with automatic transmission. Manual transmission systems have been difficult to bring into electric vehicles partly due to the torque provided by electric vehicle motors. Automatic vehicles have steadily taken over the global car market, particularly in the United States. However, manual cars are still popular around the world. I personally enjoy driving them. As per Statista, 4 out of 10 light vehicles produced worldwide are still equipped with manual transmissions. Meanwhile, automatic cars represent around 34% of the global share. In the United States, automobiles with automatic transmission make up most of the vehicle market. However, manual transmission cars, which some refer to as stick shifts, are still popular in Europe and Asia. Manual vehicles are usually cheaper than their automatic counterparts and they are also easier to maintain. One of the main reasons stick shifters remain popular is because they provide a better driving experience. Manual cars provide drivers with more control over how the car operates, providing opportunities for fun and unique driving experience on the open road. People who love to actually drive or race typically prefer manual cars. Toyota's manual transmission patents appear to be for those drivers. The Japanese automaker may want to produce manual electric vehicles to cater to drivers who enjoy being behind the wheel while uh, driving stick shift. I personally like the manual transmission very much. It's good for those who have addiction to check their phones a lot while driving the texting because when your hands are busy with manual stick shift uh, changing and clutch, you don't remember about your phone, you rather focus on your road. So it's safer. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Friends, let me know what do you think about Toyota bringing uh, manual transmission electric vehicles to the market. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. And let's move on to our next story. News about Tesla Cybertruck. Look at this Tesla new Cybertruck design. The latest Tesla Cybertruck design 
point is spotted at Fremont factory today as you can see from these images from a, um, a drone video look how massive that windshield is now if you look at the video the link of which I will have in the description of this video I have to say though I think the drone flyer should have kept a little more distance especially towards the end of the video now better shots of Tesla Cybertruck we have today spotted at Fremont today some interesting stuff going on friends so what is happening we're expecting to get an update about the Cybertruck during Tesla's product roadmap update that CEO Elon Musk said he would release as part of the company's quarter 4 2021 earnings however the CEO only announced that the Cybertruck has been delayed to hopefully 2023 due to supply chain constraints nonetheless a new prototype of the electric pickup truck has been today spotted around California and Texas over the last, actually it has been spotted over the last month anyway in Texas and um, Fremont in December in Texas. Tesla was spotted testing a new prototype of the Cybertruck on its latest truck at Fremont factory. A few weeks later, Tesla brought a new prototype of the Cybertruck to Gigafactory Texas. Several pictures and even a video of the update version of the electric pickup was have been leaked now it looks like the prototype is back in the Fremont factory and Tesla is working on it as it was spotted in a new drone flyover why do you think Tesla brought the Cybertruck to Fremont factory is, are they trying to ramp up the project something to bring it to faster production tesla appears to be installing equipment likely sensors on the prototype part of the trim uh, streams around the bed and will 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 well wells are also are covered if you notice the drone with video uh, people around give a good idea of the size of the latest design version of the cybertruck which has been rumored to be small smaller after the latest pictures came out from this video it looks to be smaller size as the original prototype unveiled in 2019 the large single windshield wiper that has been a controversial addition to the latest prototype is not visible in this video we are happy to get a, another close look at the vehicle however we can't condone this kind of drone flying says um, electric in its uh, coverage in the video the drone appears to get dangerously close as I said in the beginning of this report to the vehicle and Tesla employees to the point that you can see them being concerned and sort of chasing it away while uh, I get that people are excited to see the electric pickup let's try to keep it respectful same as uh, I reported this morning about you know the guy who is um, who is tracking Elon jet now this is very interesting I think Tesla should keep up this work on Tesla factories and Tesla Cybertruck let's see what do you think what what do you see um uh, when you look at the cyber truck images uh, any comments guys this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to this channel for daily breaking tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage let's see what i have for you next